Hi, this is Teacher Scott, and today I'll be talking about Ayurveda and the coronavirus. First of all, listen to what Western medicine has to say. Wash your hands frequently. Washing your hands with soap and water will kill the virus. Also, social distancing is a good idea because it's very difficult to catch the virus if you're far away from other people. Next, Ayurveda has some unique things to say about prevention. For example, you want your skin to be working optimally. And in order for your skin to be working optimally, it must be well oiled. So Abhyanga is the process of oiling your skin. Take half sesame oil and half sunflower oil, mix them together. And before you shower in the morning, lather up your entire body with this mixture of sesame oil and sunflower oil all over. It will make your skin glow, but it will also make your skin function optimally. Then you shower off all the excess oil. Don't use soap and water except on the smelly parts of your body, because you want that oil to sink into your skin. And then towel off any excess oil when you dry. Amazing. That's what we call abhyanga. If you want your mouth to work optimally, you do what's called gandusha. Gandusha is the process of putting sesame oil into the mouth and swishing it around for a good five minutes. Uh, that'll keep everything in your mouth working well. So gandusha is a good idea to keep everything in the mouth working well. Lastly, you want to do nasya. And nasya is a process by you put, whereby you put oil up the nose. Um, the best oil you can get is probably something called super nasya oil. You can get that from the Ayurvedic Institute. And you can put five drops in each nostril after you shower in the mornings. If you don't have access to super nasya oil, you can also purchase ghee. Ghee is clarified butter. And you take a little clarified butter and you put it onto your pinky finger. And then you just put your pinky finger up your nose and swish it around on each nostril. And that'll keep the nose well oiled, which is also important for immunity. Next, in order to have good immunity, you have to have good agni. Because agni, which is your digestive fire, your ability to digest food, produces good ojas. Ojas is the Ayurvedic word for basically immunity. So to keep your agni healthy, your digestive fire healthy, you should avoid certain items. Uh, most drugs will destroy your agni, so don't do any sort of drugs or stimulants. Avoid all processed sugars. Anything with added sugar will slow down your digestion. Avoid processed foods. Fresh foods are much better for your digestion. Uh, frozen foods don't have much energy, so they're not going to support your immunity in the same way that freshly cooked foods are. And the same thing about leftovers. In this time where we're stuck inside and we're going to eat leftovers, maybe only eat leftovers for a day, but leftovers in general don't have the same sort of energy uh, to support your life force that freshly cooked food does. Next, you want to do good food combining to support your agni. Um, so there are certain things you want to eat by itself. For example, you want to drink milk by itself, generally speaking. Uh, you can combine milk with some grains. Uh, for example, milk plus oats for a good yummy oatmeal is nice, but in general, don't eat milk with other foods. Milk with meat especially is a bad food combining, which will slow your digestion down. If you eat fruit, eat fruit by itself. Fruit doesn't combine well with other items, uh, especially melons. Melons don't work well with other foods. Um, and if you eat cheese, cheese generally goes with veggies or with grains. It doesn't go with other foods very well, even though we love it with eggs and we love it with beans. Uh, cheese plus those items is difficult to digest. So unless your agni is really strong, you want to avoid mixing cheese with other things. Next, to support your healthy agni, eat mindfully. So when you're eating, just eat. Don't do other things. Um, and chew your food. You want to chew your food to where it becomes like baby food in your mouth. Uh, in Ayurveda, we say 32 times. But until it becomes soft and gushy, it's fine. Um, when you eat, eat on a regular schedule if you can. 
So eat at the same times every day. So you can do breakfast at 8, lunch at around noontime, and dinner at around 5. It's best to eat when you're hungry because then you're going to digest your food. And in general, avoid snacking. It's better to allow yourself to get hungry than it is to snack every time you feel a little bit of hunger pain. Um, also, to keep your ugly healthy, do not drink cold or iced drinks. These drinks will destroy your ugly, especially if you drink cold or iced drinks with food. Uh, so avoid those things. That'll just stop the digestive fire. Uh, another helpful hint to promote healthy Agni is eating yogurt. Just a little bit of plain yogurt after a meal helps add those very good bacteria to your digestion and it'll help keep your gut healthy. Also, eat for your Vikruti. That means if your kapha is out of balance, eat kapha reducing foods. If your pitta is out of balance, eat pitta reducing foods. And if your vata is out of balance, eat vata reducing foods. Uh, more information on that, just call me for a consultation. And lastly, a little bit of garlic goes a long way for supporting your immunity. So if you're feeling sick or a little down, uh, adding garlic to your food can help a great deal. Next, for proper immunity, you want proper sleep. Uh, the best time to go to sleep, according to Ayurveda, is to be in bed by 10 p.m. and to be up by 6 a.m good eight hours of sleep. If you're observing daylight savings time in your time zone, you can switch that up a bit. You can be in bed by 11 p.m. and up by 7 a.m. Um, but you do want eight hours of uninterrupted sleep if you can. Next, um, avoid stressors to boost your immunity. If you're stressed, your immunity is not going to work as well as if you're not stressed. Um, so if, if you can identify what's stressing you out, avoid those things if possible. If you can't avoid those things, there are things you can do for stress. Uh, there's some Ayurvedic herbs you can take for stress. The best ones are ashwagandha, brahmi, and jadamamsi. If you have questions about dosing and how to take those and when to take those, you can contact me for a consultation. Next, uh, to boost your immunity, sunlight is amazing. Uh, sunlight produces natural vitamin D. Sunlight also kills viruses. UV radiation from sunlight is deadly to viruses. So getting out into the sun is one of the best things you can do. Also getting out into nature, your body's immunity functions better when you're out in nature. So if, if you can get out into a natural setting as often as possible, once a day at least, uh, your body's immunity will work better. Uh, next, pranayama, which is regulated breathing, is great for building immunity. It's also great for reducing stress. And the same with meditation. So if you can do pranayama and then meditation, that is the best. Lastly, doing some gentle exercise will also keep your immunity working well. Uh, yoga done gently. Tai Chi, Qigong, these are all examples of very gentle exercise that keeps the body healthy, reduces stress, and boosts the immune system. If you happen to get sick and you want some antiviral herbs to boost your immune system against viruses, uh, the Western herbal canon has Echinacea osha and golden seal. You want to take these in tincture form. A uh, high alcohol tincture form is the best. Uh, if you can get access to the Ayurvedic herb Mahasudarshana, also the best for antivirals and very hard to get in America but uh, in India if you can get Sukshma Trifala and Gandhak Rasayana these two herbs taken together knock viruses out it just boosts your immune system to double or triple its efficacy and you will recover very quickly if you're on these Ayurvedic herbs if you happen to have a cough, a wet cough, you want to add Cito Pilati to what you're taking. If you have a dry cough, you want to do Talasati. And if you need an expectorant, if you need to move things out of your lungs, then licorice is the best herb for that. Uh, if you also have a cough that won't stop and it's annoying you, you can take 10 drops of Maha Narayana oil and water, uh, warm water, and take a sip of this warm water once every 10 minutes until the cough dissipates. 
This has been Teacher Scott. Thank you very much. Uh, if you want a consultation, please contact me. And if you have any questions, you can also please contact me. Thank you and namaste.